watch is that dog in the window? <laughs> the one with the waggly tail. How much is that dog in the window? <laughs> I do hope that dog is for sale. Hey guys, it's me, Nina Bonino. Woof, woof. Brown, oh my God. I hope you love this look. It's so much work. Stay tuned and let's get to this makeup tutorial. Oh God, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Kissy, give me a kiss. She's scared of me, bitch. Give me a kissy. Did my breath stink? Give me a kissy, Coco. Okay, get out of here, bitch. Hey guys, it's me, Pierre, Nina Bonita Brown. We are going to be turning into a poodle. Oh, sorry, I just had to show you that on my Mac ProBook 15 inch touch space bar, 5K retina, display. <laughs> no, but seriously, my sister has a dog. It's a miniature poodle. Her name is Coco Chanel, and she's such a diva. She has a little pink at the end of her ear, so I may do that, but it's gonna be like a winter themed poodle look because it snowed outside out of nowhere, and I'm so excited about that. I'm gonna come back with my eyebrows glued already so we don't have to go through that whole phase, so see ya. Sorry guys, my camera died, just like my drag career and my bookings. But what I was saying was, before I was so rudely interrupted, I saw a trick where you put like powder around the prosthetic, and that way you know where you wanna put your glue, cause you have to glue this down. So let's see if this works. And I'm looking down into my mirror so I can see. Okay, look who got our movies. iMovie captions, making it play backwards. Ken Burns effect, yes! Look who's finally becoming a makeup artist. Y'all yeah. can't tell me I'm not sickening. I'm sickening and y'all mad about it. So now that we have the base, the outline where we need to put the glue, I'll be using, once again, Prosade. Pouring this into a paper plate and I hope my mama doesn't find out and whip my ass. Got that on there. Gonna get a sponge and go around. So put your glue on and let it get tacky like my drag, and then we'll come back and put that on. Okay, so this prosthetic, um, I don't like the way he, they cut it. I don't know, we'll see how this works out. So same thing with the bottom piece, we're gonna use some white powder, go around the base so we kinda know where to glue it at. I kinda already have an idea, but why not just do it anyway? So I kinda have a little outline I can barely see it, but I see it. And I'm thinking that we're gonna stick this part to this part. Put your glue in there, put it on. So guys, I can't talk too much because this is hard to talk in, so I may be doing a voiceover. <laughs> but um, the next step is to put some liquid latex around the edges to make it blend and see more seamlessly. So yeah. You better blend. Mm, blend those edges, mama. Not the police in the background. Sorry, y'all. Okay, now next translucent powder. Put the powder around the edges. I don't know why, just do it. Mm -hmm. I wanna go back. I wanna go back. <laughs> now get the spray bottle with some water and use your chrome paint or your Meron paint. I'm using the color white with a stippling sponge. We're not stippling like a wet SpongeBob sponge. Yes, and start painting away, honey. Now that we're all white and right, get you a black shadow. I'm using Urban Decay. And I'm drawing the inner corner of my eyes because the dog eyes kind of come down like that. Ooh, excuse me, baby. Doing my little crease in my lid. Yes. Now I'm just outlining where I'm gonna like start coloring in my nose using my Take Me To Brazil eyeshadow palette. Oh Lord, here they come again, the Brazilians. I'm going to use some pink, cause I see that dogs have a little pink in the corner of their eyes, honey. Come around that crease. I don't know what I'm doing there, but okay. 
my Dirty Ben Nye Professional Wheel. Yes, honey. But I'm coloring in the nose. Right here, I didn't know if I want to do a pink nose or a black nose. At the end, I decided to do black, so you may skip this point. Oh. <laughs> Don't hit me. Oh, nasty hoe. Look at Oh, and she gonna eat it. Just nasty. No, this is a long process. <laughs> really long. Putting some pink around the lip, even though I end up painting the lips black. Oh. <sighs> Here I am doing voiceovers while my drag race sisters are booked and doing gigs. It's okay, girl. I still look like Beyonce. Are you fucking insane? Beyonce? 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 Beyonce, sweetie, I'm so sorry that a ugly ass bitch like me is here. Like, you know, I'm trying to be nice, but I'm not. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just cleaning under the eyes some more. Putting some black right again in the inner corner just to make the face more precise. Coloring inside the nose. Yes, honey. I will say these masks poke some holes in there so you can breathe better. Girl, I almost had an asthma attack, and I ain't got asthma. Right now, I'm just coloring in. Now, I'm just painting the teeth with that same white, even though dogs got yellow teeth. They say that dogs have cleaner breath than humans, which could be right, because a lot of guys be having some stank breath, and they love to kiss and got stank breath. Girl, I don't want to kiss you. So anyway, back to that Meron pink. <laughs> And now I am, what am I doing? What am I doing, child? Okay, coloring in the tongue area, the mouth area. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Now I'm using like a darker color from the bruise wheel and coming inside and just darkening it so it looks more realistic and like, you know, gummy and mouthy. If that's a word, I don't know. Getting a little bit of black and like coming in between the teeth to make it look more, more real. And so far we have this, which is nothing. Um, and I'm skipping to my crease like I always do. You know, I never stay in an order. Back to the bruise wheel. Now I'm going and coloring the nose. A little more pinkish, even though, like I said, at the end I end up coloring it black, so. It's on you. Some poodles have a pinkish nose, some have black, but mostly have black nose. I heard you. And your sleep last night. What are we gonna do? Oh, no. mm -hmm. Doing something. Oh, we're coloring in the crease. Got it. <laughs> My own video. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, putting some pink over the lids. Even though I end up coloring the whole lid black. Oh. Now coming back in with that black with the black shadow to set it. Now to my eyeliner. Now I'm using my one-on-one -on -one eyelashes that I keep using. Y'all, I use the same lashes over and over again, girl. They probably have Ebola. But whatever. What is that? I can't see, girl. Oh, using the gray from that wheel to start contouring. Because I'm thinking about, you know, like when you use whites, like you want to use like gray shadows. See, a lot of people, a lot of makeup people probably would have just stopped at putting the mask on, painting it white, and being done with it. But me, I want to add detail to make it look more realistic. Oh, you okay, baby? Girl, she doing something. Just blending it out. And they had a shorter dog snout, but this is the longer one. But I, I'm happy with how it looked. Next time, I'm going to try a short one as well. And just kind of going and creating depth to that nose. Make sure you have a picture or a reference of what you're looking at. So you can try to be as accurate as you can. And here I go with the black, like I mentioned earlier. Oh, excuse me, baby. Not that close up. Yes. Girl, at least we're here professional. He swear he a professional. Professional bottom. Okay, now coloring that in. So I did little whisker holes there. I thought I recorded that part. Lee must have cut it out. Oh. And I'm just kind of shading it out. I'm doing a little angry brow area right here. I could have just left it flat, but like I said, I like doing detail. That's just me. I'm kind of going back down that nose. And I noticed that when a dog smiles or growls, they have those growl lines like right there by that area. So that kind of makes it look more realistic, if you will. Just shading away. If you mess up, you can always clean it back up with that white. Shading some more. For every line you want to shade. The same way they shaded me at the finale when they brought up that black china thing. But anyway. Now I'm adding a little bit of like blush to the cheeks. Cause you know, it's a human dog. 
doggy, but still a little human. And right now I'm doing something. I don't know what it is. As you see, my nose is black and I'm adding shadow to it and gray shadows to make it look highlighted and more realistic. A little bit of white. I did a black poodle before. It was cute, but I painted it on my own face. This is my first time using the actual prosthetic prosthetic and I like it. So, yep, there you go. Put on that wig and you're done. Well, guys, we did it. We did it. Uh, uh, uh. Cat, 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 cat. Woof. Cat, cat, cat. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, remember to stay beat, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. Don't forget to dislike and unsubscribe. Make sure you comment and I will catch you guys at the next tutorial. Bye.